All right, guys. It is Tuesday, July 27th, 2021 at 3.54 p.m. All right. Let's start with a Bible verse we have from dailyverses.net. Bible verses about faith. It says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Mark 11, 24. All right. Let's start the news cycle. Alright, it says Greece forest fire rips through area near Athens. It says an area north of the Greek capital Athens has been hit by a forest fire with temperatures temperatures set to reach 104 degrees in the next few days. The fire ripped through the pine forest, destroying homes before firefighters brought it under control on Tuesday. Forest fires are a common occurrence in Greece in summer, but there are concerns that climate change is worsening the situation. There have also been blazes reported in Italy and Spain. So heads up for Greece. Alright, next. CDC backtracks on mask guidance for vaccinated people and schools. Um, it says the agency cited increasing concern around the fast-spreading Delta variant. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention on Tuesday reversed its mask guidance to specifically target areas of the country with the highest levels of coronavirus and recommended that everyone in those areas vaccinated or not wear a mask as the Delta variant continues to spread rapidly across the US. I'm going to talk a little bit more later on about something about this but let's continue on in the story. It says Veterans Affairs becomes first federal agency to require some staff to be vaccinated against COVID the Biden administration has faced pressure to mandate vaccinations where it can as the Delta variant poses a fresh threat. So the Department of Veteran Affairs announced on Monday that all its medical facility employees will be required to be vaccinated against COVID-19, becoming the first federal agency to issue a mandate. The Biden administration has been under increasing pressure to begin mandating the vaccinations where it can as the national rate of inoculation stalled as the number of new cases has risen in recent weeks. So something that I have that you got to keep in mind is here the word mandating. They're pushing right now the mandating of vaccinations. It's going to start slow, but it's going to build and you're going to see what um, uh, I'm talking about in a minute. All right, next, Tesla autopilot system mistakes moon for yellow traffic light. So Elon Musk touted in January that he was highly confident a Tesla will be able to drive itself with the reliability in excess of human this year. Uh, so to many of us, we knew this claim was utter nonsense. Tesla's full driving version 9.0 beta version warned users earlier this month full self-driving software may, may do the wrong thing at the worst time, such as vehicle autopilot system mistaking the moon for a yellow traffic light. So heads up, if you do own a Tesla, the autopilot may mistake the moon for a yellow traffic light. All right. Next, giant hailstones bring highway to standstill after hundreds of windshields are smashed by ice bombs in Italy. So, apocalyptic hailstorm closes highway in Italy after ice bomb destroys hundreds of windshields. This is a highway was brought to a standstill after a sudden and violent hailstorm destroyed the windshield of hundreds of cars driven driving between Fidenza and Firenzuola, Italy. As shown in the video, cars and trucks are stopped. The windshields are destroyed. Everybody is shocked. The terrible hail hit around 4.10 p.m. local time between Parama and Ferenzola. The A1 highway was closed down for a few hours to facilitate the intervention of emergency vehicles. So that's pretty spooky to get a, uh, some big hailstones uh, damaging windshield, windshields. All right. And finally for this story, it says Sardinia is burning like a torch. Thousands evacuated across California and Nevada, too. There are mega wildfires burning forests around the globe right now. Here are two disastrous examples from the U.S. Sardinia and Sardinia, Italy. It says, Apocalyptic fires in Sardinia, Italy. Picture from Twitter. It says, I have some friends going on their vacation 
It's going to be hell. Massive wildfires have ravaged tens of thousands of hectares on the Italian island of Sardinia. Firefighters are struggling to contain the blaze as it rages for a third straight day, with Rome asking the EU for help. More than 20,000 hectares or 50,000 acres of forest of land have been devastated on Sardinia as wildfires rage through Montefiore region and the island's west. The outbreaks are also stretched east of province of Ogolastra. Videos published on social media showed walls of fire moving along the mountain slopes of Sardinia, closing in on some settlements as plumes of black smoke butted out the skies overhead. Firefighting aircraft were bombed. Uh, water bombed the blaze just meters away from homes, and the footage shows the um, the video shows the fires. I'll leave the link to that story. All right, so let's get back to what I've been trying to talk about. All right, so um, if you go, I'll leave the link to this video. Uh, if you see what's happening uh, in in the term of what's happening with the CDC telling people to put their mask on. And people being um, persecuted in a sense by other people talking about if you don't have the vaccine, this, this, and that. And they they kind of tend to bully people either on social media or in person um, talking about the vaccine and all this. Um, if you check out this video, I'll leave a link to this video. It says, Calm Before the Storm, Part 2, Rapture Soon. But in this video, he's talking a lot about... Uh, it says here, I believe we are currently living in the de the days of Lot, described by Jesus in Luke 17. Will the Lord call us up to Rapture soon or be with him? Uh, he was talking about the days of Lot. Um, in this uh, video, he talks about how um, in the days of Lot, before he was taken uh, by the angels, um, the the people in the city were coming up to him, uh, the, to his house, knocking on the door. And um, they wanted to um, take him out and do things, uh, him, take him out of his house, basically. So this is basically, in the last days, it will, it's going to be like the days of Lot. People come into your door, knocking on your door, saying, hey, do you want the vaccine? Um, also, uh, possibly trying to take you out and who knows, uh, put you in an Uber, take you to do the vaccine thing. So who knows what else... Um, it's going to be like in the last days, but I just wanted to share that all these things uh, with the CDC going back on the um, mask guidance for people vaccinated in schools and all this stuff and also for veteran affairs where they're saying um, that things are going to be mandating. Uh, hopefully it doesn't become mandating uh, the vaccines to everybody uh, in the country. Hopefully it's not like Europe where people are, have this app where you basically have to um, have an app on your phone and they ping you and tell you, hey, you have to hide or you have to basically, you know, quarantine and do all this stuff um, just by app. Uh, so many different places in the country, uh, in, in the world, are experiencing different um, levels of, I guess you would say, persecution because of the vaccine. Um, and something that uh, reminds me uh, that Trump had said is they're not after they're not after me they're after you so this this something that kind of pops up in the back of my head and and brings a, a warning signal you know be prepared um, Jesus is watching over us um, so the the reason why I haven't made a big video about just the vaccine or whatever is because I know that they uh, basically tell people on YouTube not to uh, do things uh, or videos that go against the grain so I basically ignore it but at the same time um, it's good to give a uh, word and guide you guys so you guys can follow um, Jesus in the Bible and that's the only salvation we have um, the rest um, basically is just surviving day by day and praying for each other and protecting and watching over each other as, as best we can um, but I'll leave a link to his video, um, The Calm Before the Storm. He's a really great guy, Generation 24334. He has great videos um, that he shares and great information. All right, hit like and subscribe for more news and videos, and see you guys next time. God bless you guys.